The Braves are on a 13-game winning streak. Are you kidding me? When a winning streak is in double digits, it changes the mind of all the skeptics of this team. You got to love the way these guys have been playing. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. I'm going to keep an eye on Well, here we go. We have officially begun the first half of play. The Braves are number six in the polls right now, Dick. One thing I've realized over the years about rankings is that really you can't get too excited and too enthused being on top. You've got to have your players understand it's about the postseason. On the left side. Looks like they're going to drop into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. Goes up for two. No. It's no good. On the left side. McCray picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. And he got them both. Number one set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. the jumper and our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. A great trap initiated by the defense. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. That's good. How about the great job of getting to the basket right there, Dick? When you drive with conviction, good things happen. Sometimes it's the basket, sometimes you get fouled. Coach asking them to set up offensively now. That's a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Chance to get an easy one here. First shot is good. Charity strike. Tries for two. Gets it to go. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Coach has been very animated over here on the sidelines. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and playing that up-tempo style. I'm sure he'll continue to encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. It won't fall. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Buried it. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Now, looking for the ball screen, Dick. Hey, the two-man game, Brad. So many teams incorporated into their scheme because it works. It sticks. Pushes it up. Eight minutes left in the game clock. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. And he can't hit the shot. On the left side. Shooter spotting up on a three. Takes the pass in the paint. Montgomery manages to keep it in. He dribbles the ball out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. The center handles the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. 
for two. Shots off the mark. Makes it. Defense got caught flat-footed again, Brad. Yeah, they might have to talk this thing over. That trap could spell some trouble. They work the perimeter. We're at the seven-minute mark. Goes up for two. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. For the bucket, he can't get the hoop to fall. Tickles a twine. Pushes it up. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Erin? Coach has been quite animated over here on the sidelines. It's all positive, though. He's pleased with the manner in which they're playing their up-tempo style. I overheard him saying that if this continues, he likes his team's chances. Guys? Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that additional insight. Knocks it down. He can put points up, and he can move the ball. When you combine those two skills, the floor looks a lot wider for everyone on your team. Comes up short. Sweeney keeps it in. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Can't get it to go. Both teams looking to get things going here. And a slam. Number 41. His modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. About five minutes remaining in the game clock. For two, can't put it down. Gave it up. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Off the glass and no good. inside. Montgomery fakes the shot. Working it around the perimeter. The freshman commits a turnover. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Busk. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. Goes up for two. He buries the shot. For the bucket, he buries it. Tries for two, and we've got a change in possession here. And let's take a look at a player who's really having a good game here tonight. It seems like he's everywhere at once. He's been making good decisions and been strong with the ball. The coach has got to be happy with his performance so far. Now on the run. McCray, in my books, is one of the top players in this class. Dude. He's a tremendous player, Brad. Scouts, coaches, everybody have him rated so high. On the outside. For two, he can't get the bucket to fall. Three minutes left on the game clock. I'm stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little version to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. The Braves can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Sideline inbounds. A 
on the dribble gives it up goes up for two goes in you always want your players going hard to the basket like that right Dick? well those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about there was no doubt about that one they move it up in a hurry and the jam Number 22 is, has been highly touted as one of the top freshmen in the country. To me, that's a huge talent to have, Brad. I hope he can remain focused and continue to be among the best throughout his college career. Long down court pass for the bucket. Oh, yes. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He tries to knock down the three. Nails the jumper. Pushes it up. The freshman has a brain cramp there and commits a turnover. Now looking to attack. Tries for two. There was no doubt about that one. Coach about the general lineup. They work it around the perimeter. Turnover committed by the freshman. Pushing that basketball. We're at the one minute mark. Count that as a person. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. And, of course, his season average. Stats only tell part of the story, Brad. But as a coach, if you have a few players who can average double figures in multiple statistical categories, you're a lucky guy. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He takes the three and come up short. It's good. The Braves want to up the pressure here, Dick, and I think they're going to change the tempo of the game with their defense. You know, it's a great decision, Brad, if you have the right personnel to play full court defense. Here comes a pick. Hey, ball screens are such an important part of the game these days. Guys are so creative when it comes to using that ball screen. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. If he's got a strong point, it's his ability to distribute the ball. I tell you, he's a pass-first player. Really a great floor general, Brad. He runs the offense really well and does such a great job distributing the basketball. Goes for the deep one. Off the mark. the half. The Braves are up by 18. Alcorn State is getting a lot of rebounds, Dick, in that first half. Hey, Brad, these boys gave a monstrous performance on the board. They were relentless in retrieving the rock. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Excellent jump shot right there. Two, makes the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Kicks it out. Gets a hand in the way. The Panthers pushing the ball in transition. Goes up for two. Hey, Brad, he finishes this one off the transition. Full court pass for the bucket. Knocks it down. On the wing, number 10 is called. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Foul shot is not good. Blocked. Out of bounds, and we're staying right here. 
The Braves have been making it happen with a number of different players, Dick. When you have guys that want to win, you're going to get different players stepping up in different ways. When it's about the W, individual numbers aren't important. From beyond the arc, can't connect. Now that young guy just can't continue to pick up. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration, taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. This is what he's been able to bring to the court per game so far this season. Every game you have to bring it. It doesn't matter if you have two points or 20. Everybody in the squad has to be ready to get it done if they're called upon. Tries for two. No good from the field. Hey, as a coach, you really like to see your kids get up and challenge shots like that. A lot of times, a challenge is enough to make the offensive player change their shot in the air. Pushes it up. For two. No good. The point guard gets the pass. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Goes up for two. He doesn't get the hoop. For the bucket, he gets the bucket to fall. Down inside. Takes the shot. Can't get the shot to drop. On the right side. He shoots from the elbow. Plus the jumper. A little two-man action. He shoots from the corner. Knocked it down. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. for two. He's money with the shot. Strong with the ball and strong with the finish. I tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. Bad decision there by the freshman. On the left side. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For two. He couldn't get it to fall. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. Goes. Coach about to adjust his rotation. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Pugh receives the pass. For the bucket. Great shot. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Norwood receives the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries for two. Scorches the net. For two. Off the glass and no good. Number 41 gets the ball. And it's drift. Active hands. Now on the run. Nice hops. The Braves want to up the pressure here, Dick, and I think they're going to change the tempo of the game with their defense. You know, it's a great decision, Brad, if you have the right personnel to play full-court defense. Goes up for two. He gets that one to fall. We're at the six-minute mark. They'll work it around the arc from the corner. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. 
The offense sets up from the sideline. We'll stay right here. They'll throw it in from the side. Trying to feed inside for the bucket. He gets it to go. Way out on top, controlling the ball. You betcha. Tries for two. Nice shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. For two, comes up empty. They'll give him that pass all night long. Let's take another look at our star watch. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Goes up for two. He missed. There it is, Jam City. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. Nick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. But I'm swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Now looking to attack. Tries for two. He drains it. Pushes it up for two. Sinks the shot. The Braves are really looking to turn up the pressure and the overall game tempo with this press kick. I tell you, it looks like they want the tempo to be at the higher end of the spectrum. This will definitely impact the pace. The Braves are looking, Dick, to force the tempo by extending their defense. You know, forcing your opponent to play in the full court is a great idea if you have the athleticism to play that style, Brad. Otherwise, you may not be very successful pressuring the full court. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. McRae pops back into the ballgame after a well-deserved rest. Wow, he makes such an impact on his team when he's in the game. At both ends of the court, Brad. Inside. Goes up for two. Got it. The Braves seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dick. Hey, look out for the full court pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. For the bucket, off the glass and no good. Tries for two. That was nice. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Sinks it. Pushes it up. About two minutes remaining on the game clock on the left side. From the corner. Nope. It's not smart to just throw it out of bounds. Focus defensively. 
He shoots from the deep corner. Jumper won't go. Pushes it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. For two. And off the mark. Goes up for two. Gets it to go. They might have him in some trouble here, Dick. Great trap, Brad. He launches a three. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Pish. We're at the one minute mark. Is this defense ever quick to recover? It's called conditioning, Brad. Pushes it up for the bucket. Gets it to fall. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He shoots from the corner. Off the mark. Tries for two. Shot clock is dead. On the right side. For two, he comes up empty. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. The guy was open, but he's a fan. Montgomery taking it hard to the hoop. What a great take there. That's a strong take. A strong, strong take to the goal. That trap could spell some trouble. Sweeney comes up with it. Out on the wing. Well, this man's in trouble. Pushes it up. With the big shot, scorches the net with a J. Well, we've got a second. Let's take a look at two individuals selected, Dick, as our players of the game. They were both great to watch all game long. Their coaches and teammates have to be happy with what they've done. Out
Alcorn State is undefeated coming into tonight's game. Hey, to this point in the season, this team has been unstoppable. They can do no wrong, but you wouldn't know it by talking to their coach. And the referee is ready to toss it up. As we tip into the first half, the butterflies are flying, baby. Looks like they're going to play some full-court pressing defense, Dick. This may be a great opportunity for them to break the press and get some easy baskets for that. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Braves can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Two at the charity strike. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I love the four round one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. The Braves are like a rare to go after losing that last game. Hey, the last thing any coach wants to have happen is to slip into a losing streak. So you know he's going to be pushing his squad hard today to make sure they walk away victorious. The Braves go to the line for the first time in this game. Sinks it. Makes the second shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. For two. Gets it to go. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Out on the wing. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Pushes it up. The Braves have improved quite a bit over the last few weeks. Hey, Brad, that's them some quality practices and a level of commitment from the team. Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. Let's get back out on the floor. Tries for two. He buries the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the corner. Missed it. Number four receives the pass. He bombs from outside. The missed shot. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket, he drains the bucket. Stolen away. Montgomery's modest play is having a negative effect on his composure emotionally and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He buries it. The Braves are cranking things up at the defensive end, and they're going to extend that pressure. An aggressive move on their part, Brad. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. For two, he gets it to fall. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Dumps it in. They get that rejected. Loose ball, kept in. Pushes it up. Ten on the shot clock. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries to beat the clock. He made good use of the screen. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Gave it up. With the jumper, off the mark. Tries for two, 
He gets that one to fall. Pushes it up. A little two-man action. Kicks it out. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. It's a fast break possibility. There it is, Jam City. McElroy picks up the... He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. They've got him trapped. Silly mistake. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The Braves are up-tempo team, Dick. What are the components that make up a good up-tempo team? One thing which stands out in my mind is the type of defense they play. Often up-tempo teams press, trap, and disrupt the offense at every chance they get. Number 21 takes the pass for the bucket. He shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot from three-point range. Can't connect. Number 10 takes the pass. The Tigers looking to attack in transition. About six minutes remaining on the game clock. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Hugh handles the pass. For two. Drains the shot. for two goes in way out up with a rejection number 23 is called for the foul well I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul but that might have been one right there Dick hey Mr. Nestler I like that type of luck he's saying to the defense no easy baskets for you we're gonna force you to make shots Can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. And numbers going the other way. For the bucket. Can't get it to go. Off the glass and no good. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to pack it inside. Goes up for two. No. McElroy handles the pass. The freshman's a bit careless with the ball. For two, gets it to fall. They'll work it around the arc, fakes it. Looking for the pick now. Hey, the two-man game is great. And the block. Bucket off the glass and no good. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. McElroy handles the pass. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. Oh, looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Well, Dick, here's a player in just his freshman year. I tell you, what an exciting time in a young man's life. It's that student-athlete experience really preparing him for the rest of his life. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. About four minutes remaining for two. Off the glass and no good. Tries for two. No good. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. 
And let's take a look at a player who's really having a good game here tonight. I tell you, Brad, he's been awesome, baby. He's a PT player. I tell you, what a great performance. With the runner. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. On the left side. For the bucket. Sinks the shot. Pushes it up. The freshman has a brain cramp there and commits a turnover. Now looking to attack. Goes up for two. Got it. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. We're at the three minute mark. If everyone else is covered, give it to the guy in the stands. And there's kind of a snapshot of their current records and how they're faring overall so far. The goal is to get W's, Brad. If the L column is a lot greater than the other one, that's an issue. From the corner, Nick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. There's the block. Pushes it up. And a slam. Takes it strong to the hoop. He knows how to use his strength, Brad. That's such an important skill. You've got to know how to use it without being pulled for the foul. The Braves are really looking to turn up the pressure and the overall game tempo with this press, Dick. I tell you, it looks like they want the tempo to be at the higher end of the spectrum. This will definitely impact the pace. Number 21 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Chance for an easy one. Good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them a nylon. NBN. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Coach has been quite animated over here on the sidelines. It's all positive, though. He's pleased with the manner in which they're playing their up-tempo style. I overheard him saying that if this continues, he likes his team's chances. Guys? Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent, as usual, providing that extra bit of insight. For two, he drains it. Shooter spotting up on the three. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Hits the first shot. Both free throws go. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Tries for two. He gets the shot to fall. The Braves are really looking to turn up the pressure and the overall game tempo with this press, Dick. I tell you, it looks like they want the tempo to be at the higher end of the spectrum. This will definitely impact the pace. On the outside, he shoots from the deep corner. Nails a sweet jumper. They're off into transition for the bucket. Good drive right there. Good penetration. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Barry's at home. Shot clock is dead. The Braves looking to attack now in transition. Kicks it out. Goes up for two. Shots off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. He's money with the shot. 
Pushes it up. He puts it up in the horn. Off the glass and no good. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are trailing by six. And while we get a moment here, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Grambling State allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. The Braves are among the top teams in the country. I expect to see them at the big dance in the next few weeks. They've been playing solid basketball all season, Brad. I'm certain that they'll be at the big dance. Well, this man's in trouble. Ball stripped. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. That goes out of bounds, and we'll stay at this end. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Did a great job of getting to the hoop on that one, Richard. I tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. Off the mark with that shot. Bad decision there by the freshman. The shooting guard takes the feed. That trap could spell some trouble. Too physical. Coach about to change up the lineup here. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Rims off. Good rebound position. They need to get out and run their lanes now. For two, makes it. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. Tries for two. He can't get the bucket to fall. Gave it up. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Now looking to create with a ball screen. Hey, the pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. The Tigers looking to attack in transition. Number four handles the feed. Goes. Pushes it up. Looks at a three. Knocks it down. the left wing for the bucket. What should they do here, Dick? Let's call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. The Braves seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dick. Hey, look out for the full court pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. The Braves are really looking to turn up the pressure and the overall game tempo with this press, Dick. I tell you, it looks like they want the tempo to be at the higher end of the spectrum. This will definitely impact the pace. Ten ticks are up. For a minute, I forgot that was a violation. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. There was no doubt about that one. The Braves are cranking things up at the defensive end, and they're going to extend that pressure. An aggressive move on their part, Brad. They'll be looking to force some turnovers. Time out on the floor, folks. More ESPN coverage coming up right after this. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. And the ball is saved. Great job. Ball's going to stay here. They'll throw it in from the side.
Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. Number 34 with the ball. Kicks it out. Ten on the shot clock. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. Turn around a fadeaway. the mark. Elio tries for two. No good. Hey Brad, this youngster is showing how to put the clamp on a player defensively. Spectacular defensive effort. For the bucket. He missed. On the left side. About seven minutes remaining. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Open scores it. Montgomery has a lot of skill. Some people are predicting that he'll be a player of the year candidate. He'll well if he win the player of the year award, Brad. And based on what I've seen, I think he's deserving of it. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Gets it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Takes a medium-range jumper. Nails the jumper. On the outside, he does the sweet fake shot. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Look at that trap, Brad. A man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Ball's stripped. There's a slam. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. Let's it fly. He can't get the hoop to fall. Montgomery receives the pass. He tries to knock down the three. Nope. He cleans the glass. Definitely a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him with the easy basket. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He may be in some trouble here. Nobody inside. For two, that's good. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestler. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. He goes for three. Off the mark. Tickles a twine. We're at the five-minute mark. Here comes the ball screen. Tries for two. It sticks. The Braves seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dick. Hey, look out for the full court pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. Pushes it up. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He's got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. He's going nowhere. Going Ball's nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the left side. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. On the dribble. Gives it up. Goes up for two. It's good. 
Four minutes left on the game clock. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestle. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. For two, off the glass and no good. Great shot. Now, that was a great play right there, Dick. Anytime you get a player in a high post, you put pressure on the defense. And that can lead to big breaks over the course of the game. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Q, pump fakes. Number 10 takes it away. They get it out into transition. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Pushes it up. Turnover committed by the freshman. Out on the wing. He just threw it out of bounds. We're at the three-minute mark. Kicks it out. From the corner, nails the J. Penetrate and kick out. Great to watch. Hey, the ball handler drew the defense in and then found a teammate on the perimeter who was spotting up. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Good fake. Gave it up. For the bucket. That one's off. Top of the circle. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. We're at the two-minute mark. Number 10 comes up with it. On the left side. Steals the ball. The Braves are on the run. Goes up for two. He nails the bucket. The Braves with the push. For two, knocks it down. Dick, they're going to have to sit him down. As a coach, you always stress to your players that defending without fouling is most important. Scoring in transition is a way to get some easy hoops. Wouldn't you agree with that, Dick? Hey, this has been fantastic to watch, Brad. As soon as they get the ball, they're filling the lanes, and everyone is looking to make the hit-ahead pass. These guys have been a lot of fun to watch. Tries for two. You bet you. Working around the perimeter. One minute left to go. He takes a three. Jumper won't go. Knocked it down. The Braves penetrate and kick out there for the open look. Hey, everybody looks good when you can finish with a jumper like that, except the defense. Working it around the perimeter. In the lane. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the left side. Down inside. For the bucket. Nope. Shot clock is dead. On the left side. The runner, he hits it. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Sinks it. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just through excitement with that jam. Can't connect. Alcorn State simply blew this team away tonight. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant...
The Braves are on a 15-game winning streak. Are you kidding me? When a winning streak is in double digits, it changes the mind of all the skeptics of this team. you got to love the way these guys have been playing. What's the starting five look like? All right, guys, we're in position, and we're ready for the tip. And we're off with a tip here in the first half. Looks like they're going to play some full-court pressing defense, Dick. Defensively, you must be really on your toes and be ready to react. Active is the word that comes to mind when you're pressing in the full court. Number four takes the feed. He rejects it. And there's kind of a snapshot of their current records and how they're faring overall so far. The goal is to get W's, Brad. If the L column is a lot greater than the other one, that's an issue. Shot. Well, you know, basketball was like nutrition, Dick. His game would be broken down into the two major food groups, and that's passing and score. It doesn't matter if you're a scorer who passes well or a good passer who can score. There will always be a spot for you on a team. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. McElroy picks up the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. A great trap initiated by the defense. Hard foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. Montgomery saves it. Bad decision there by the freshman. Double team now, bad angle. Off the glass and no good. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the elbow, they feed down. A great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. The Braves, he gets the rejection. That shot's got to come quicker against the zone, right? Here, I'm thinking it was a pretty quick shot the way it was, Dick. Not quick enough, baby. Looking for a good shot. Blocked. Trying to pack it inside. Goes up for two. That was nice. That trap could spell some trouble. I think they're trying to make a statement. And it looks as though there are going to be a few substitutions made. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The shooting guard takes the feed. Goes up with it. They get it to go. Tries for two. Shot off. It's good. 
Did a great job of getting to the hoop on that one, Richie. That's a great take, Brad. That puts pressure on the defense when you go to the hoop like that. For two. Got it. He can light things up in a hurry. He's got that scores mentality. You have to take him to make him, and this kid does a lot of both. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. Around eight minutes remaining. The power forward handles the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. You're 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. It sticks. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And his shot rejected. Casey getting after it and saves it. They work the perimeter. Throws it up. Out of bounds and a change in possession. And a momentary look from three point land. He hits the shot. We're at the seven minute mark. Gave it up from the top of the circle. Nope. Pushes it up. Tries for two. He drains it. One thing I've noticed about up-tempo teams is the manner in which they rebound it. You need to have players who have the aggressive mindset at the offensive end and can really impose their will at the defensive end. It's not easy to find those type of players. Turnover by the freshman for two. There was no doubt about that one. Shoots from the deep corner. Gets the J to fall. The Bulldogs in transition. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. For the bucket. He can't get the bucket to fall. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. Now that's how you take the ball to the basket. He has all kinds of moves, and we saw just about all of them on that drive. A good-looking two points. On the outside. Bad decision there by the senior. Tries for two. Nice shot. They work it around the perimeter. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Coach has been very animated over here on the sidelines. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and playing that up-tempo style. I'm sure he'll continue to encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team and our sideline reporter, keeping us up to date with what's taking place behind the scenes and around the bench. Good job, EA. And we're ready to get things back going again after the timeout. He pulls the trigger. He misses the fadeaway. Here they go in transition. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Comes up empty. Makes the shot. They work it into it. Rejects it. Who wants it? And he saves it. Oh, he dribbled the ball out of bounds. 
And let's take a look at a player who's really having a good game here tonight. I tell you, it's been a treat to watch him out there. He understands what he needs to do, which occasionally means taking a shot and at other times looking for his teammate. Tries one from three-point land. And score it. Out on the wing. We're at the four-minute mark. For the bucket, off the glass and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The missed shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Off the glass and no good. Fast break opportunity here. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. They're working hard on defense to get through those screens. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Misses the second shot. The shooting guard with the ball. Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby. Alabama A&M. And we got a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon, NBN. Goes up for two. He shows the sweet touch. Montgomery, 4-2. They might have him in some trouble here, Dick. He's trapped, Brad. He fouled him. Oh, this man's in trouble. Alabama A&M is now in the bonus. Shooting Number 35. This young guy's not the greatest from the charity stripe. Let's see how he makes out. Well, you know he's got to get into a routine. It's about routine and repetition, Brad. Gets his second. A little two-man action. The small forward with the ball. He just threw it out of bounds. Montgomery keeps it in, out of bounds, and a change in possession. A great trap initiated by the defense. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Doesn't go. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Off the glass and no good. For two. Buried it. Hugh has shown that he's one of the best freshmen in all of college basketball, Dick. To me, that's a huge tag to have, Brad. I hope he can remain focused and continue to be among the best throughout his college career. Here comes the ball screen. For the bucket. Sinks it. Turnover committed by the freshman. The Bulldogs now looking for a basket in transition. Swatted away. He gets the bucket to fall. Silly mistake. On the right side. Tries for two. No good. Turnover by the freshman. On 
for two. Scorches the net. About a minute remaining. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Jumper won't go. For the bucket, he buries the shot. There's a double team waiting there. He bombs from outside. Shot clock is dead. story of this game by looking at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play, though. Anything can happen. Alcorn State is killing the opposition on the glass in the first half. Hey, these kids know that it takes to win big games, Brad. If you can win the rebound and battle on any given night, you have a great shot of winning the ball game. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 35 is called for the foul. First personal foul. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Cross court. Here's a block from behind. My man was up. He blocks the shot. Count that as a personal foul. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital A. And there are his per game averages. It's not always about numbers, Brad. It's good to fill the stat sheet, but does he do the little things? That's the question. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That trap could spell some trouble. Tries for two. Tickles a twine. A nice job of getting to the hole right there, Dick. You know he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. Gets the rejection. That goes out of bounds, and we'll stay at this end. They'll throw it in from the side. With the J. Off the mark. That's a foul. Oh, looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits a foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. First shot, good. And he got them both. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Can't connect. Working around the perimeter. For two, he comes up empty. Marries it home. Traps in place, Dick. For the bucket. That's good. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. Now 
looking to create with a ball screen. And a pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. Gave it up. Eight minutes left on the game clock. The Braves with the push. Goes up for two. Great shot. He may be in some trouble here. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around, fade away. Hugh receives the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. And the strip. Quick hand. Moving it around the perimeter. About seven minutes remaining in the game clock. The power forward handles the pass. Gave it up for two. Goes. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He tries the three ball. They get it to go. The Braves looking to attack in transition. And a slam. Out of bounds, and we're not going anywhere. These guys have really been able to step it up so far, and they're putting together a very good team effort. When you have guys that want to win, you're going to get different players stepping up in different ways. When it's about the W, individual numbers are important. And once again, our two featured players here in tonight's Star Watch. For the bucket, off the glass and no good. Makes it. Bad decision there by the freshman. Goes up for two. But he'll want that one back. Tries for two. He drains the shot. We're at the six-minute mark. For two, off target. Pushes it up. For the bucket, off the glass and no good. Hugh handles the pass. Goes in. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Bad decision there by the freshman. Spacing so important. Where's he going? Where's he going? Goes up for two. In and out. Controlling the ball. Sweeney handles the pass. A little two-man action. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Drains the shot. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. Gets it to fall. Working it around the perimeter. For two. Comes up short. The Braves should consider switching their current tempo and mindset to more of a half-court game. With the time and score on their side, that seems to make sense to me, Dick. At this point, getting defensive stops and having the time to walk the clock is most important. If this means playing in the half-court, even though you prefer to play an up-tempo style, so be it. Pushes it up. For the bucket. Sinks the shot. Come on. 
Four minutes remaining on the game clock. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Can't put it down. And a fake with the block. Number 35 looks to be down emotionally. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. Miguel That trap could spell some trouble. Cantrell handles the pass. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses the J. Cantrell handles the pass. Gave it up for two. Off the glass and no good. We're at the three-minute mark. Turnover by the freshman. The Bulldogs are on the run. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Let's take a second look at this three. Cross court. He makes a nice shot fake. Cross court. For the bucket. Gets it to go. They've got him trapped. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Two with a lay-in. the inside. There's a slam. Oh, this man's in trouble. About two minutes remaining. With the jumper, nails the J. Sweeney handles the pass. And Dick, this is just played. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. On the left side. Gave it up. Tries for two. The layup is good. Dick, six-point lead here. They have to keep applying the pressure if they want to win this one, Brad. Up and inside. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. About a minute remaining in the game clock. For two, rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, he shows the sweet touch. And we're back. Dick Vitale and Brad Nessler with you here, ready for the inbound after that timeout. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Ball's going to stay here. The offense sets up from the sideline. He tries the three. That's an ill advice. Trying to be a hot dog, man. Get the mustard out. Are you kidding me? Uh, he gets a second chance. All alone finds his teammate for the easy one. He got that second opportunity. Trying to put a little mustard on that, baby. And the clock stopped with a foul. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. They're set to throw it in from the side. Shot clock is dead. Number four is whistled for the foul. Fifth team foul. 
execute on the inbounds. Alabama A&M. And the clock stopped with a foul. Foul two. two. No, no, the three, offense three, begins two. off the sideline inbounds. Stops the clock again. Chance for an easy one. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Nick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. He may be in some trouble here. Pushes it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Wins out. They get it out into transition. He puts it up at the horn. Goes in. Alcorn State comes away with the W in this matchup. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Always nice to be recognized as one of the players of the game.